Wendy's Chili. Amidst an everlasting war between fast food chains, there are some items that have no competition. Wendy's Chili. Old hamburger meat, watered down with water, are not the ingredients you expect to make up this flavorful concoction. <laughs> Yet, here it is, a standout on the menu. Wendy's Chili. The story of Wendy's Chili is a humble one. The founder of Wendy's, Dave Wendy's, decided that there weren't enough liquid foods in the fast food game, so he decided to stir up a commotion. Dave was serious. Chili Maker was one of the key roles in the first Wendy's back in 1969. Dave's book, Dave's Way, explains that chili was an important factor for Wendy's growth. I never read his book, but I'm going to assume that's the case. Misinfotainment. Regardless, Wendy's chili was created in part to reduce food waste and to gain a small profit. For all the hamburger meat that does not get used during the working hours, the beef gets cut up and sent to hamburger beef hell. Enough of its history though. What's in Wendy's chili? Beefy water, hamburger chunks, and whatever accidentally falls into the pot. That's the ingredients list. But it's delicious. The chili is a flavorful combination of soft beef, assorted beans, tiny diced up vegetables, multiple spices, all swimming within a warm jacuzzi of Wendy's chili sauce. Wendy's used to include a severed finger in their chili, but sadly, this was discontinued in 2005. Wendy's Chili is the perfect change of pace from the regular selection of fast food items. Sometimes a burger isn't enough. Only a hearty bowl of fingerless beef can satiate the stomach of a regular Wendy's goer. Not only is the chili a delightful standalone meal, it can also be used as a pairing item for other foods on the Wendy's menu. You can dip nuggets or fries in the chili for an extra flavorful punch. You can throw the chili on a Wendy's baked potato to experience the greatest food combination since peanut butter and jelly. You can even put chili on your frosty if you want the employees to kick you out. FBI, open up! I interviewed a Wendy's employee to learn more about the chili. Yeah, so um, I don't actually work here. I've just been like kind of living in the dumpster in the back for about six months and no one's really noticed. Uh, so I get free food, which is really cool. Um, yeah, the chili's pretty good. Wendy's chili is quite filling. Surprisingly, a large cup of the chili doesn't even reach 500 calories. All that meaty liquid and delicious sodium will stay in your system and temporarily replace your stomach acid. You can even add cheese on it if you want to make your local lactose intolerant friends cry. Not to mention, Wendy's also hands out a few packets of the stalest crackers on planet Earth to eat with your chili. And somehow, the chili makes these crackers taste better than the bread that Jesus himself has blessed. I interviewed another Wendy's employee to find out what makes the chili so delicious. So anyways, yeah, Davis pretty much stuck his arm in the fryer and we were all kind of concerned for a second because while it was doing the normal sputtering you see when you put meat in the fryer, uh, it kind of was more turning a different color, which I guess is kind of bad. Uh, turns out he might have had some blood problems, and uh, which makes sense. The guy had tuberculosis when he was younger and survived. I guess that's kind of a weird thing to have, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, I mean, the chili's fine. The warm taste and versatility of Wendy's chili is unmatched. It's an overlooked and underappreciated item within the fast food scene that has been a staple in Wendy's since its opening. What can be seen as a gimmicky item is what makes this entree a standout amongst its sandwiched counterparts. I interviewed a bowl of Wendy's chili to find out what it thinks of its legacy. Wendy's chili. <laughs> 